Boy, how soft do you have to be to get pushed around by a coachless Michigan team and lose 30-24? to Honda McCord throws an interception at the end of the game. That seals the deal for Michigan. There's still 25 seconds left, but Michigan's just going to come out and take a knee and the game's over. Uh, two interceptions for uh, Honda McCord uh, on the day. It was, it, look, it was a great game. I'm not really going to get on here and shit on Ohio State, but the reality is you lost. Third loss in a row to Michigan. And uh, there's no back doors available this year into the college football playoffs. So Ohio State's uh, Ohio State season literally is over, uh, minus whatever uh, New Year's Six game uh, they go to. They can't even go to the Rose Bowl because it's not a playoff game this year. So just some New Year's Six game for Ohio State. Michigan will beat the Stew out of Iowa next week, and will be on to the college football uh, uh, on to the college football playoffs. This was a great game, 30 to 24. Um, you know, the whole Ohio State is soft thing, there's nothing soft about this version of Ohio State. Unfortunately for Ohio State fans, people are going to continue to tell you that because you get so mad about it. Uh, Ryan Day in particular, your coach gets mad, your fans get mad. So people are going to keep calling you soft uh, because they just know it bothers you. But you did lose to a coachless Michigan team, um, and I don't know how you're going to manage to deal with that uh, over the remainder of whatever life you happen to have uh, left. But that's what you're going to have to do. How bad is the ACC? The ACC is, I don't even think the ACC is power five level. I don't at this point. Uh, Louisville, who's about the best the ACC has to offer, lost to Kentucky. A six-win Kentucky team. An afterthought team in the SEC. Um, and, and Kentucky, uh, on the road, beat Louisville. Louisville's a team that had everything to play for. Just one loss. A win over Florida State in the ACC title game next week potentially could have sent Louisville to the playoffs if enough stuff happened in front of them. It wasn't likely, but, you know, it still had a chance, and they just came out and got beat by bad Kentucky. The ACC is just garbage, just fucking dog water. Um, I'd be extremely nervous if I was a Florida State fan, uh, extremely nervous about playing Florida tonight. The ACC is terrible, absolutely terrible. Florida State's without Jordan Travis. I know Florida's without Graham Mertz, but the thing is, Jordan Travis is way better than Graham Mertz. So losing Jordan Travis is a bigger blow to Florida State than losing Graham Mertz is to Florida. I don't know that Florida will win the game. I, I picked Florida State to win the game. I think it, it could be close. I would probably take Florida uh, Florida and the points, the seven points or whatever it is. Might be closer than that. But if I was a Florida State fan, I'd be extremely nervous. Knowing how bad the ACC is and you got to go on the road into the swamp to play a Florida team that's fighting for bowl eligibility. They're at five wins. They've lost four in a row, Florida has. A win today would erase a lot of those bad memories and put Florida into a bowl game. So I'd be really, really worried. And, of course, the Iron Bowl is just getting ready to kick off now. Auburn and Alabama. And, man, Alabama needs help. Uh, help Alabama if you can. Uh, we need Texas to lose, even though they won yesterday. Need Oregon to lose, even though they won yesterday. Need Florida State to lose tonight, uh, which is probably not going to happen. And then we got to beat Georgia. And my God, they need help for that. Lots of help. 